as per your request in the comment section i am going to create the tutorial for this game which is a scramble game so you can see over here if i place any letter at wrong order like after d it should be u if i place it somewhere else a red button appears it means that character is placed wrong that letter is placed wrong so if i change the position and place it at the correct order that red dot disappears and even if if i place the last letter in the last circle it is not going to give me the next button and i have created four letter scramble game you can create five letters as well so if you are creating five letters scramble game you will be having five letters right okay let's play the game and uh, let me show you what are the different features i have covered in this game So have you seen I have put C I think that on um, the fourth one and it has showed me the red dot and when I put it in the third circle in the order it has disappeared and once I completed all the letters correctly my next button has appeared. So let's play that once again. Had you seen that uh, I have put the last character first and then the last third afterwards to complete the word but still the next button was not appearing. This is one of the feature. So have you observed that tick mark only appears when all the letters are in correct order. Then the check mark appear, then the correct mark appear. It means your arrangement of the letters is absolutely correct. What is the logic that I have used over here? I have a different background. So let's start with the background itself. I have total 6 or 7 backdrops. B1, B2, B3 B and B6. So let's start with a new one. I'm starting from scratch. So take the file new. And I do not want this cat, so delete this. Then let's choose the backdrop here. I'll choose this one and let's go to backdrop. I'll just first change the name of this. Let's backdrop one. And then I'm going to make some duplicate copies. So I, I have created total six backdrops. Next, we are going to add the letter sprite. You need to add all the costumes of this letter so I'm going to costume and then I'm uploading all the costume for this one from A to Z again you'll go to letters you'll choose B then C then D and similarly all up to Z so let me complete up for one sprite one letter sprite after adding all the costume from A to Z you are going to duplicate this sprite because I'm using four letters over here so I will be having four sprites and each sprite has all the costumes. Let's suppose my first letter is dark so I'm going to take some random costume for each letter. Let's arrange them over here and then I'm going to make changes over here for example for this I'm going to take let's say K and for this one I'm going to take uh, U. This one let's say C and this one D. So I have created these uh, different letter sprite for the first word and then I'm going to create 
a sprite, a circle. And then you just arrange it. Then I'm going to duplicate them because we have four letters. So I'm going to duplicate and use four over here. I think I have to reduce the size. So let me reduce the size first. This one using my select tool, I'm going to reduce the size. I think this is perfect for the reduce it. And then I'm going to duplicate. And let's put them in order. Now our letter has to go to some random position and then come back to it wherever it is. Events, when the flag is clicked, go to motion light. Let's say one second to random position and then come back to wherever you are. I'm making it two seconds and let's check it. Yes, so this is going to be something like this. I'm going to do it for each letter. I have done this coding for each letter. Check it. Yeah, it's working. Now for the very first backdrop, the costume for the first letter is K. In the next one, it is going to change. When the backdrop switches to B1, switch costume to K. The same you are going to apply to each and every letter for the first backdrop. This for the second letter, this one for the third one and this one for the fourth letter. And also, let's say that when the flag is clicked, switch backdrop to B1 that I have done in backdrop itself. So click on the stage and then do this coding. Now my second letter is lion, so I'm going to change the costume for each letter here. I'm going to duplicate this when the backdrop switches to B2. Uh, let's say I'm making this one as I and U. Alright, uh, now same, I'm going to do it again for the third letter. So when the backdrop switches to backdrop 3, this is going to behave as L. Let me do it for the rest of the questions as well. B4 and B5. So that the tutorial won't get too long. B5. And in B4, I'm assigning this letter as A. And in B5, it is going to be A again. So I have changed the costume for backdrop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Similarly for the second letter, 3rd and 4th. Let's do the coding for the circle. When the flag is clicked, they are not going to be shown as such. Okay, when the flag is clicked, hide. Wait for 4 seconds and then show. And also you just fix the position because they get made disturbed. Put a go to block as well. This encoding you are going to apply to each and every circle. The wait is for 4 seconds because uh, meanwhile these randoms are moving on the stage. So that's why I have put uh, this time as 4 seconds. Now I have to do the coding like my first circle should have D letter. Right? So if my circle is touching D, it means it is correct. And if it is touching any other letter, then it is not correct. And one more condition is that this is going to be correct only in case the backdrop is B1. So when the backdrop is B1 and the first circle is touching D, then it is correct. And if it is touching rest of the letters, then it is not correct. So go to events, when backdrop switches to B1 forever, if then touching. So go to sensing, touching D. So D is block A4, right? So I'll say block A4. Block A4 has the costume D, so which is the correct one. So if it is touching this one, it means it is correct. So for that, I have to declare the variable. There are four letters, I will declare four variables. Make a variable, V1. So I have made four variables here. They are visible. I do not want these to be visible. So just uncheck them. And now I want that whenever flag is clicked, the value of V1, V2, V3, V4 is zero. Go to events when the flag is clicked. Go to variables set my variable or say v1 0 i'm going to duplicate them let's change to v2 v3 and v4 when my first letter is touching the first circle v1 will change to v1 v1 from 0 will change to v1 it means it is correct so change my variable v1 to 1 no it's not change set set my variable v1 to one and now if it is touching any other block then it is 
going to broadcast the message that it is wrong and it will show the red block so there are conditions if it is touching any other letter like u k or c then it is wrong so you will use the or operator if it is touching letter a or if it is touching letter a2 if it is touching letter a3 then it is wrong so i'm going to put it here if it is touching a4 then v1 will set to v1 other than that other than a4 which is this one if it is touching k u or c that is block a a2 and a3 then it is going to broadcast a message wrong broadcast message wrong now we we'll create a sprite again to show that red button it means that the letter is wrong this one i'm going to choose and let's place it uh, here let's hit the position when the flag is clicked go to it would be hidden when the flag is clicked and it is going to be shown when uh, any other letter is wrong when we listen to the broadcast message wrong when i receive wrong show it but it is not going to be shown forever so after one second should be hidden okay now i'm going to do it for the second circle when the backdrop switch is to b1 and if it is touching u which is a2 then it will set the variable 2 not v1 but v2 as 1 and if it is touching a1 a3 a4 then it is wrong let me do it for third and fourth circle as well in the backdrop one for first circle if it is touching d which is block a4 then it is correct the value of variable 1 is going to be set as 1 and if it is touching any other block it will broadcast the message wrong similarly for the second circle the correct letter is d u u is a2 so if it is touching a2 variable 2's value will set to 1 and if it is touching any other letter then it is going to broadcast the message similarly for the third one third is d u c c is a3 so for a3 b3 is going to be 1 any other then wrong lastly for the last letter which is k which is block a v4 is going to be set as 1 now once all the letters are correct and i place the last letter it is going to broadcast a message that every letter uh, or the letters are being placed in the order so it is going to broadcast the message answer 1 and character 4 so broadcast message i'm going to type a new message answer 1 character 4 Let's play and see whether the red one is working or not. Whether the characters are placed properly or not. If I put D here, it is showing wrong. If I put U here, it is showing wrong. If I put K here, wrong. If I put uh, C here, again wrong. So let me put them correctly. D, U, and you can see there is no red dot. So this is okay. Once I put them in order, it has broadcast the message. answer 1 c4 now that message will be received by this correct sprite when this receive the message this will check the values whether v1 is equals to 1 v2 is equals to 1 v3 is equal to 1 and v2 v4 is equal to 1 or not and if every condition is true then this will appear otherwise it will not it will appear for just a millisecond and then it will be hidden so i have taken this sprite this is button 4 when the flag is clicked i have fixed the position over here and i'm hiding it it will be shown when it will receive the message so in events when i receive a1 b4 forever it is going to check whether all the variables are having the value as 1 if then and i'm going to operators i'll take and operator again i need operator equals to 1 make it 1 and then i'm going to duplicate because i'm have to check for each variable so there will be four e1 b2 v3 and v4 then i'll go to variables and put them over here one by one let's start with this v1 equals to 1 then v2 then v3 then v4 and then i'm going to combine them here finally you'll put them here so if it is true then show it wait for some second and then hide Let's change the time to point two second, and this is how it will work. So let's play it. So now it is shown. This is how we are going to do it for each and every backdrop and letters. We will continue rest in the next video. So I hope this is clear to you. 
and uh, in case you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will be answering your questions subscribe to my channel press the bell icon for getting the notification of my new videos and meanwhile keep watching my videos and if you have something specific to make on write in the comment section i'll try to complete your request thank you so much and be awesome